beautiful people, losing Drea here, and I'm sporting yet another new short hairdo. This time it's uh, very short. Um, I wanted it more flatter on the sides, a little bit longer on the top, but I wanted to get rid of the tangerine once and for all. I put my head in the hands of a wonderful Cuban barber that does my husband's hair, and I absolutely love the way he did my husband's hair. So I went ahead and I had him do mine. My normal person that's been doing my hair, Chris, I uh, went today and found out she was on a vacation for about another week and I was not willing to let anybody else touch my hair uh, there at that place anyways. And I wasn't waiting, willing to wait a week. The lady in front of me who also was there uh, to see her when they told her she was on vacation, she says, well, I got to go another week with messy hair and my eyebrows looking crazy. And I was like, well, I'm not willing to do that. I don't know if I pan around here, if you can see um, the back of my head. I'm trying to see if you can see it here. Um, I'm trying to get it where you can see it. It's very, very short. Um, it's cut guy style. It's a fade, basically, for anybody who wants to get this haircut. You know, I did this about a little over a month ago, and then it just seems like everybody's following suit. I don't know if Miley Cyrus saw my hair or not, but it seems like she copied me. Anyways, I'm happy with my hair the way it is. I love the color. I absolutely love this cut. It's shorter than I probably would have liked um, to go, but I'm, I'm really happy that I got at the tangerine uh, out of it because no matter what I did, it still had that little bit of, like, an orange glow, which, I don't know, some, somewhere in here I'm still seeing it. Um, but I'm happy. I'm happy. It feels great getting it off my neck and my and, and I just love having short hair. I never really imagined how much I would enjoy it. I feel like my face is thinner. Um, and um, yeah, I'm just really happy. Anyway, so for anybody out there who was like me and you had a phobia from the scissors and you were thinking that you weren't going to let anybody come near your hair. I mean, my hair used to be down to my butt. And I was afraid for anybody to come at me with scissors because I had once got a haircut that was like to my shoulders and made me look like uh, a little Shirley Temple. And I just was not having that ever again. And now it's like invigorating. I couldn't wait to get to the barbershop and do this to my hair. And the whole time hubby's saying, are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure this is what you want? Oh my God, I can't believe it. You're going through a midlife crisis. Well, hey, if this is a midlife crisis, then hey, bring it on. I am happy. I, you know, I don't, like I told him, I feel so good about myself, and I feel that I'm beautiful, and I don't mean to sound conceited like he said I was, but I don't need my hair to divine who I am, or to be beautiful. So if they shaved it all off and made me bald, so be it. If something, God forbid, was to happen to me, and I needed to be bald, so be it. I have big, beautiful, bright eyes, and a nice smile, and I look good with short hair. I feel I look sexy. So, Oreo at the barber shop in Lehigh um, between Williams and, um, I don't know, it's after Williams going towards uh, Leland Heights. It's in between on the left hand side uh, before you get to the Truly Nolan. It's a great little barber shop. Go there. Start a new trend if you're here in Lehigh. Tell Oreo you want him to cut your hair tell him you saw Andrea's hair, Carlos, Carlito's wife, and that you like the haircut because nobody in this town seems to want to cut anybody's hair when you tell them you want it short. And it was my friend Irene that told me you got to go to a barber if you want to cut short because nobody's going to believe you want it that short. They think you're going to like cop out and get mad at them if they make it too short. It's shorter than I wanted it, but am I going to get mad at him? No, he's the artist and I love what he's done with my hair and it can grow out. It will grow out very, very fast. My hair has been growing like weeds. So with that said, you know, I just wanted to put that out there. The other thing I want to put that out there for anybody who's been watching me for my weight loss efforts, um, yesterday was a great day. I'm planning and hoping and trying my very, very hardest that today be a great day as well. Um, thinking about going to Weight Watchers to get another like head start back in the right direction get me on track, get me off the carbs and all that crazy stuff that I've been eating. It seemed like the uh, liquid diet that I went on with hubby was more of a sabotage for me than a help in any direction because the weight that I lost, I put right back on and then some. And it seems that when you do that to your body, your body goes into a certain mode 
where it just kind of like it, it goes it doesn't want to be in that mode so it, it reacts in a way you just start eating like crazy and eating things that you had de been depriving yourself of and then some so anyways my weight's down uh, from what it was I'm very happy today so be happy be healthy be beautiful but just be you be the boss of your own loss of your own weight loss journey I'll definitely be seeing you in my next video bye guys be blessed and don't forget if you want short hair go get it <laughs>